Hey there, my name is Dr. Charis Chambers, also known as the Period Doctor, and in today's video we're going to talk about the hymen. There are so many myths surrounding the hymen, so I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time. If you find these videos to be helpful, please click that subscribe button. That will make my day. It allows me to continue to provide great information. Now, stick around if you want to find out more about the hymen. One of the major myths about the hymen is that it is a complete closure of the vagina, like a thin membrane that's completely covering the vagina and you pop it or poke it or completely rupture it at time of first intercourse. That is completely untrue. The hymen is actually a thin tissue membrane that's actually open. It's supposed to be patent like a circle um, that allows for menstrual blood to exit and for something like a tampon to be placed inside the vagina. It does not completely cover the vagina. It does not completely rupture. There is a scenario in which people are born with a congenital anomaly known as an imperforate hymen. That is when the entire hymen covers the vagina. It becomes a major issue and can only be corrected surgically at time of menarche or when they have their period. Typically patients present to an emergency room or an urgent care center complaining of cyclic abdominal pain, pain that comes every month. This pain correlates to the period that they are having, but that period doesn't come out because of that blockage. In order for them to ever get that period blood out, we must do surgery and open that closed hymen. So that's proof that not every woman walks around with an entirely closed hymen. That's unrealistic. That's just wrong. Another myth about the hymen is that we can check it to determine virginity status. That's a total myth. First of all, people can tear or stretch the hymen by doing kind of normal daily activities, by doing splits or riding horseback or other gymnastics things. Um, and so the hymen does not even remotely reliably predict prior sexual activity. The only way for a doctor to really tell if you've had sex before is to do like a pregnancy test or to test you for sexually transmitted infections. But there is no virginity test and virginity is not a medical diagnosis. Another myth about the hymen is that it tears at first intercourse um, and that should produce some bleeding or that women always bleed at time of first intercourse because of the tearing of the hymen. That's not true. While some women may have enough tearing to cause a little bit of bleeding, a lot of women have no bleeding at all. This is not something that's very consistent or predictable uh, with virginity status and not all women bleed at time of first intercourse. Another myth that's related to the hymen is that by using something like a tampon, you can tear your hymen and thereby take your virginity. That's not true. The hymen should be open enough to allow for passage of a tampon. Now, if the tampon gets stuck or there's an issue or difficulty inserting a tampon, it can mean that you have an abnormality to your hymen. It's one of the key ways that I find abnormalities in my patients. Almost all of those abnormalities need to be surgically corrected, and it's a very quick procedure. One of the most common abnormalities is something called a hymenal septum. That's when there's a thin tissue kind of ridge in between the hymen um, that separates it into one side and another other side. And there's also a microperforate hymen. A microperforate hymen is a hymen that has a very small opening. It's enough for period blood to come out, but not wide enough for a tampon to be inserted. The hymen is a thin tissue membrane that surrounds the opening of the vagina. It's supposed to be patent. It's supposed to let period blood out. It's supposed to accommodate, allow for accommodation or insertion of a tampon. And that's it. My hope in making this video is that we'll have a greater understanding of the hymen and stop perpetuating these terrible myths. If you learned something new today, please take the time to subscribe to my channel. As always, I'm the Period Doctor. Thank you for watching.